and Billy Davis is in charge of the Forest side, which emerges from the tunnel down below us and away to our left in red shirts, white shorts and red socks. Derby, as you'd expect, are in white shirts with black shorts and white socks. Forrest making three changes from the side that last played in the league against Doncaster. No Greg Halford, no Nate Shalabar on loan from Chelsea, no Jamel Abdoun. In come Danny Collins, Guy Moussi and Raddy Majewski. So Carl Darlow is in goal, the back four, Eric Lehigh, Jack Hobbs, Danny Collins and the captain Chris Cohen. A midfielder, Guy Moussi in the holding role, Henry Lansbury and Andy Reid on the right and left and Raddy Majewski playing behind the front two of Jamie Mackey and Darius Henderson for Derby Lee Grant is in goal a back four of Adam Smith on loan from Tottenham Hotspur Richard Keogh the captain Jake Buxton and Craig Forsyth John Eustace plays their holding role Craig Bryson Will Hughes and Jamie Ward also in midfield Johnny Russell and Chris Martin are the two strikers but, uh, the recent stats are interesting too Forest with the best home record in the championship so far this season Derby with the best away record in the championship so far this season Reid stabbing one forward towards Majewski bit of space and shooting across the face of goal and just wide fire a fingertip from Lee Grant the Derby goalkeeper diving away to his left did get a touch to it I'm not sure we're situated right behind that shot I'm not sure he actually needed to get a fingertip to it I think it may have been drifting wide anyway at the far post Lansbury forward just over the head of Darius Henderson and volleyed clear by Jake Buxton the former Mansfield player of course over 150 appearances for the Stags down the road as Keogh slips as the ball is played down the left hand side Keogh slips over Majewski would have been away Keogh's momentum after the slip took him into Raddy Majewski and brought him down now I have to say I thought Keogh was a little bit clever because I think if he'd wanted to avoid Majewski he could have done and he just made the slip look uh, that little bit worse and just got a little bit extra to make sure he caught Majewski he gets a red uh, sorry a yellow card and Forrest get a free kick halfway inside the Derby half and Martin switches play out towards Derby's left hand side for Craig Forsyth to uh, run into a bit of space before being closed down by Mackey Bryson though finds Ward far left back in field to Bryson once more 10 yards of space in front of Bryson so shoots and it's only just wide of Carl Darlow's left hand post hit it from about 30 yards out and it didn't go very high never more than a yard or so off the turf Darlow was scrambling away to his left and it didn't miss by much but it did miss and it remains goalless I mentioned earlier quite often in this fixture you see early goals so it's, it's not always the case here's Forsyth though, well forward for Derby crossing from the left hand side head in the post from Russell didn't really get much on it it was straight at Darlow anyway it was a, a comfortable save for Carl Darlow albeit he was only three or four yards away from the Forest goalkeeper but he really didn't get much of a connection on the header good cross from Forsyth Will Hughes battling with Lansbury Lansbury's done brilliantly to turn away from him and then Eustace's lunging challenge and races across halfway and is still going on Lansbury gives it to his right now for Mackey low ball in cleared by Buxton Mackey still battling for it Buxton blocks it again as it shot towards goal Cohen now edge of the penalty area turns it to the right hand side for Lehigh his ball is too short but Lehigh wins the challenge then comes into the box himself left foot shot he's deflected over the crossbar and Forrest get themselves a corner kick as the match comes to life with that thrilling turn and run from Henry Lansbury getting away from two challenges inside his own half and then thrusting deep into Derby's half before setting up Mackey in the eventual shot deflected over from Lehigh Reed to take from the right hand side left foot it inks with a Jack Hobbs with the header and the near post and Forrest break the deadlock with five minutes to go until half time the city ground erupts as the Reds have the lead in the derby Reed with the corner near post good run by Hobbs and what a time to pick to score your first goal for your new club they don't come much more precious than that Hobbs scores for the Reds and it's Forrest 1 derby nil yeah brilliant cross from Andy Reid from the corner driven in with his left foot 
Hobbs has made that run towards the ball that left all the defenders trailing in his wake. So he gets the first header in and it's an absolute bullet that flies into the derby net. Will Hughes holds on to it, gives it to Jamie Ward, 30 yards out, left-hand side, taking on Lehigh. Lehigh sticking to his task, showing him the byline. A cross comes in anyway and then Darlow plucks it off the head of Johnny Russell. Here's Reed, the man who created the goal, surging forward from Majewski's layoff. Reed down the left-hand side, skips past another challenge, and then hits the byline and looks up, didn't have many options, but now crosses, aimed at Henderson. It might break for Mackey. Great save from Lee Grant. Point-blank range. Henderson got something on it. It bobbled away from him, fell for Jamie Mackey. And Lee Grant had to come out and be brave as Mackey stabbed it towards goal at the back post after excellent work from Andy Reid once more. Cohen intercepts again, sends it forward to Majewski once more. His ball is cut out. Reid, though, intercepts again. Reid, left-hand side, looking up. Henderson's header is wide of the target. Great cross from Reid. Picked out Henderson, who'd made a run into space and had a free header. Magnificent quality again from the Irishman. Reid down the left-hand side. And Henderson might well want that chance back because from about seven yards out with a free header, he's tucked it a couple of yards wide of the right-hand post and it remains only 1-0 to Forrest. Abdoon into the action with 25 minutes to go here at the sunbathed city ground. And Abdoon's first touch is to lay it to Harding to cross. Mackey wins the header, it goes right up in the air. Henderson waiting for it and hits it towards goal. Again, a fairly tame effort in the end and easy for Lee Grant, the goalkeeper, to say. Derby have it back again, though. For Scythe, finding Ward, who turns away from Mackey and sends a ball right-hand side of the penalty area for Chris Martin, who controls it, wants too long on it, and then as it's nicked past Jamel Abdoun, there's a foul on Adam Smith by the Algerian, who's booked. It is right on the edge of the penalty area, and it is a free kick that's given and not a penalty kick as Ward and Hughes stand over it. To the right of centre it is, right on the edge of the box. It is Will Hughes who chips it left-footed and it's a comfortable save for Darlow. Dives away to his left but takes it about shoulder height, two-handed. And now Reid gets it back from Henderson. Good ball played to Andy Reid. Cohen goes on a run ahead of Reid and gets the ball played into his path across into Derby territory and surging forward Cohen towards the edge of the box now Cohen. Still going into the box, bundled over and a penalty's given get a penalty as Cohen goes down surging surging run from Chris Cohen I have to say I thought he was already going down as he got away as that sending off as well Keo is sent off the derby captain goes and doesn't it always happen in matches between these two sides there is always controversy somewhere along the road and it's the Derby captain Richard Keogh who is shown a straight red, is shown a second yellow card, having been booked after only 11 minutes, and he's sent off. It's the fifth sending off in the last six matches between these two sides. Keogh goes, Forrest get a penalty kick, and Darius Henderson has the ball tucked under his arm and now spotted up from 12 yards out. But Derby are down to ten men, and Darius Henderson has the chance to maybe put the Derby beyond Derby. Henderson left footed, great save from Lee Grant. That's a magnificent save, down low to his right, to tip it round the post with his outstretched right arm. Henderson hit the penalty well, but what a save from Lee Grant, right down by his right-hand post, and it remains 1-0. And it's sent long by Buxton up towards halfway over the head of Hobbs. Drops for Salmon. Good save. Down low to his left by Carl Darlow. Right over the head of Jack Hobbs and right onto the foot of Connor Salmon. That long ball dropped. Just a switch off for a moment defensively. And Salmon's snapshot towards goal was pounced on down low to his left by Darlow. Forsyth hurls a throw into the penalty area. Headed on by uh, Martin but away by Lehigh. Reid brings it out under control. Mackey forward to Halford. Reid makes the run ahead of Halford. Reid is going through. Reid to the top of the D. Reid shoots. Grant saves again. Down low 
to his left this time, making another magnificent save. It's a call of the forest. It brings up the five minutes of stoppage time that we were promised. It means that Forest are probably going to win anyway, but it was a great chance to wrap it up completely. Every Forest fan just about is on their feet around this stadium. Reed has taken the short corner, gets it back. Abdoon challenges Derby clear. Still, the referee doesn't blow his whistle. Lansbury bundled out the way by Martin. Forrest get it anyway. Collins clears his lines long towards the edge of the Derby box. Still, we go on. Referee looks at his watch. Ball is out of play. Kicked away by Halford. Full time whistle. Forrest get the spoils. Forrest get the bragging rights. And Forrest get the three points. Forest one, Derby nil is how it finishes here at the city ground as Billy Davis shakes the hand of Nigel Clough and goes across to celebrate in front of the A block, punches the air with a grin all over his face.